I decided to start Clift because the more I read about the number of kids who were growing up functionally illiterate, which is roughly one in five, the more I realized what a critical problem that was. It's always struck me that, um, that literacy is really a social justice issue. Books can be mirrors and windows. And what we want to do is for those uh, kids who don't see anyone like them in their world to see a book that reflects uh, characters just like them. And for people who have never had a chance to leave their town or go more than three or four towns away, to see the tremendous variety, magical diversity of this world, uh, to see that through books as well. So we have books from different parts of the world and different walks of life and different types of folks. And we want kids to know uh, the diversity that exists in the world and to celebrate that. And for a child who's never had that opportunity, to choose a book that's really on a topic that they love is life-changing. And it's just a blast to see that and to help them recognize uh, the power and the pleasure of stories and reading and writing. And that's what Cliff does in pretty much every town in New Hampshire, Vermont. In 2008, I wrote a verse when Cliff at last turned 10. Now Cliff's 25, so I will contrive to try my hand again. This will be shorter because I'm under orders to keep it focused and sweet. So here are some words with things that I've heard in classrooms and out on the street. At first, of course, let's look to the source of Cliff's arresting success. It's Duncan for certain who lifted the curtain with energy, grit, and finesse. His leadership fearless, his stamina strong, his vision all focused and true. But to truly measure Cliff's ultimate treasure, here's what we all need to do. Look at the twinkles in children's eyes as authors and artists inspire them. And notice the looks as children hold books with hearts and eyes to admire them. One thing hasn't changed since 2008 as Laura takes over command. She'll need our support in dollars and love to help make more smiles expand. I'm so honored to have been a part of the founding board and to have served for what seems like a little time now that it's been 25 years. And I offer you my deepest congratulations for work well done and much accomplished to help the children in New England. So thank you so much for everything and for the pleasure of being able to work with you at Cliff because it's an extraordinary organization and you're an extraordinary person. Thank you, Cliff. Thank you, Cliff. Hey, Dad, it's me. Jesse, well, I'm so happy for you for your retirement. Over the years, you've been an amazing role model for myself and for all the folks in our community about how to impact people's lives in a positive way. And now that you've finally retired, you and I can peer pressure each other into getting out of bed and doing some more laps in the pool. Hello, Duncan. I wanna tell you how much you've inspired me to challenge myself in my job and my professional life in the past decade to feel the fear and do it anyway. Um, that's but one of your myriad superpowers, inviting those around you to level up. Your devotion to connecting people through the power of story has forever changed lives and communities. Thank you, Cliff. So Duncan, I want to thank you for your calm and steady leadership in this time of transition we've just been through. Uh, the building campaign, the building itself, permits and such, um, and then the transition to a new executive director, let it, not forgetting uh, your decision to, to move on to other things. Um, it's like everything, everywhere, all at once, if the title weren't already taken. So um, I want to thank you for that. You built a great foundation for our future. Duncan, A, you have made an incredible organization and Love you, man. Thanks for being my friend. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for creating Cliff. You've done amazing things for kids throughout Vermont and New Hampshire. Keep up the great work, mate. What I liked about Cliff is um, we got to have many author visits, and my favorite was John Stephen Gurney. Um, this is one of his books, and um, I love drawing personally, and he gave us a couple of drawing lessons, so I loved it. 
Duncan, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you so much for the incredible work that you have done over the last 25 years. And we are so grateful for your work. I'm so appreciative of the time I got to spend with you and the ways in which I have learned from you. Best of luck, take care, and thank you. Oh, hello. It's just another meeting of the Cliff Book Club. Hi, I first met Duncan at the start of this project. Um, and you could tell right away when you met him that he was a great guy of upstanding character and was definitely focused on the goal of building this project for Cliff. Anytime I meet somebody like Duncan, I'm like, there's a role model. And, you know, there's nothing really more I can say about him than that. He's a great guy and de definitely focused and driven on the vision of Cliff, and that's impressive and inspiring. Duncan, your vision and commitment over the last 25 years has been extraordinary. You have given Cliff and so many deserving children the opportunity for a bright and bold future. Hello everyone. Uh, we are here in the new Cliff Donation Library with the Cliff team and all of our dog <laughs> friends to say a very sincere and heartfelt thank you to Duncan for all of his amazing years of leadership at Cliff. He has led this team with humor and innovation and grace and such team-centered leadership. We really appreciate everything that he's done. And we are so looking forward to his next adventures and his continued support of the Cliff team. So thank you so much, Duncan. Hi, Duncan. Congratulations on your retirement. It's been a great journey. Thank you to Cliff and to Duncan for bringing so many good memories to our family. Yoshi and I are happy that there'll be less dog poop in the yard, right? She's going to miss all of her dog pals and Kathy in particular and all the people at Cliff who have given her so much attention over the years. Thank you to everybody at Cliff. Thank you, Duncan. Great job. Thank you.